Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when transitioning to ASP.NET Core. Our viewer has been struggling with how to use SQL Server Reporting Services, or SSRS, in their new ASP.NET Core MVC application. They discovered that the traditional approach of adding SSRS as a web reference is no longer viable due to the absence of the system web namespace. So, how can they effectively connect to the SSRS endpoint and execute reports, especially when they primarily need PDF outputs? Let's dive into their journey of finding a solution and addressing the pesky missing session identifier error along the way. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To begin, let's understand how to access SQL Server Reporting Services, or SSRS, from an ASP.NET Core application. Since ASP.NET Core does not support the system web namespace, we need to use a different approach. One effective way to interact with SSRS is by using the Report Execution 2005 web service. This service allows you to execute reports and render them in various formats, including PDF. To call the SSRS endpoint, you will need to create a SOAP client. You can do this by adding a service reference in your ASP.NET Core project. Use the WSDL URL of the SSRS web service to generate the client. Now, let's address the missing session identifier error. This error occurs when the session ID is not properly set. To resolve this, ensure that you are correctly initializing the session before making the report execution call. Finally, here's a code snippet to illustrate how to execute a report and handle the session. Make sure to replace the placeholders with your actual SSRS server details. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this solution, the user addresses the issue of a missing session identifier when accessing SSRS reports from an ASP.NET Core application. They provide a complete example of how to call an ASP.NET Core 2.0 web API to retrieve a PDF report. The key method is getPDFReport, which sets up report parameters, calls the renderReport function, and returns the PDF file as a stream. The renderReport method handles the report generation, including setting up the report path, binding, and client credentials. It also manages execution headers to avoid session issues. Finally, the Reporting Service Endpoint Behavior and Reporting Service Execution Inspector classes are used to manage message headers and ensure proper execution of the report. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To set the execution ID in your ASP.NET Core site, you can create an execution header using the load report response information. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find that resolution you were looking for. And you know, if it did, please, I appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until next time guys, that you need more technical help, I hope you have the good one. Cheers.